Thank you so much, uh, Mr. Shabbat, for, uh, uh, for your leadership on this issue. And it's funny that you should call me Dr. Uh, Ileana ross because I do have my doctorate from the University of Miami. And one of the rivalries that I enjoyed with uh, Mike Oxley is he would wear this obnoxious Miami uh, shirt whenever we were in the congressional baseball team practice. And I said, that's the fake Miami. And I would wear my, uh, my University of Miami uh, T-shirt, and he would remind me all the time that Miami University was the first. So, uh, but I am so pleased and so honored to be part of this uh, special order that has been uh, organized by my dear friend, and he really is. We have such similar backgrounds, Mr. Shabbat of Ohio, in remembrance of uh, a colleague and a dear friend, the late Congressman Mike Oxley. I'm not from Ohio, as you heard, I'm from Florida, but uh, Mike and I uh, served together here in the People's House for uh, over 15 years. When I got here in 1989, Mike had already been serving for a few years, so I, I looked upon him with, uh, with great respect. He was a man who was driven by uh, his commitment to his constituents, and I was always very impressed with that. He served his uh, great state of Ohio and our nation with great dedication, with integrity, with efficiency, and these were qualities that were seen in his work throughout his years of service here in the United States Congress. As uh, chair, as we heard, of the Financial Services Committee, Mike was known to uh, reach across the aisle, and you've heard speaker after speaker talk about how bipartisan he was to ensure that every American could prosper. And he worked on bills ranging from the interest of the financial sector to the improvement of commerce to the enhancement of emergency management, always with the consumer, always with the American people in mind. And it was during his tenure that we were able to pass bills like the Fair and Accurate Credit Transaction Act that allows consumers uh, access to free credit reports and uh, reduces identity theft. And uh, Mike Oxley was a leader, a natural leader, and he was a co-author of a bill that sought to fight corporate fraud, and we thank him for that. He's been guided, he was guided by the principle of economic prosperity, what made America great. And his legislative record and legacy speak for themselves. And, and he was a kind man. He was so uh, good to all of the members, and, and that's why so many of us are here uh, saying good things about him, because he deserves that and more. He was enthusiastic about public service. He had a, a work ethic that uh, is sorely missed uh, in the People's House. And I had a special relationship with Mike because, as I pointed out, he was a player and then manager of our congressional baseball uh, game, which I foolishly joined uh, many years back when I was younger and thinner and, and uh, fitter. And uh, encouraged by Mike, I actually became the first woman to get on base uh, in this uh, traditional uh, game. And, and Mike made sure that this charity, which because it really is a charity game, uh, was able to generate thousands of dollars to various charities around, uh, around this, uh, this great town. And though Mike is no longer with us, we should not be mourning the loss of a life, but celebrating an extraordinary life lived. And may Mike's memory live forever in our hearts and in our minds. And thank you again, Mr. Shabbat, because you are uh, uh, doing the same things that Mike Oxley would do by leading this great tribute to a great member of Congress. Thank you so much for your leadership, Mr. Shabbat. And uh, thank you to Mike. I know that you're enjoying a, a good cold beer and a great baseball game in heaven. Thank you so much, Mr. <laughs> Shabbat, for the time. Thank you. Reclaiming my